Hey, welcome back to Jump Multi. We're still flying the Keras, which started off really powerful. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have much issues on this uh, journey, but hey. Um, you never know what might happen, right? Like an unintended game crash? Yeah, that might end things for you. Okay, um, right, okay, let's try that again, instead we'll go to the other sector. <laughs> That's one way to get forced into a sector, huh? Uh, suitable for flak and all directions. For you, there's no leech guard here this time. Looks like Holy Ship is in charge of protecting the sector and they aren't going to let you past easily. We weren't expecting them to. Okay, no ASB out of the gates. That's good. You have just enough crew for shield cheese to work. And we even got a pretty good crew member to do it with. Trying to cause as little hull damage as possible. If I can prevent the SB from being called in, that would be a big help. the O2 not gone here yet? Oh, it is gone. He's just really toughening it out. Good on him. kind of do want him to kill these guys now. That's how you prevent ASB from getting shot at you. Uh, power is what we kind of need. Cool. Okay. Leave the slug take advantage of the vulnerable nearby slug is charging leeches for the privilege of letting go and crashing onto nearby moon. Queue longer than you can see from this position that waits their turn. I slug so we can't do shield cheese. Thank you. 
Wait, how are those off sync? Oh, because this is chained. Oh, okay. All right, we'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way, namely by just shooting them. Uh, Come on. All right, let's see if we got any fires in there. Yes. Look at them scatter. Address the queue. Hey, why are, why are we supposed to go kill ourselves now? How about we don't? I think taking charge of the queue advances the fleet. You do get something out of it, but... Would you feel alright by taking their money? Especially after you killed the guy for being despicable and doing it. Oh no, a door system shield cheese ain't gonna work here. Surprise, ghosties. Ah, oh, crud. I... See, the moment you move the mind controlled guy out of it, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, it does work. I thought it didn't anymore. Well, uh, let them keep that weapon. Yeah, let them keep it. They shouldn't do crew damage. That's the bitch of leech flesh. Mm. Uh, Tonies! It's Tonies, everyone. We're definitely visiting Tonies. Um, rock traders are more common than you think, but they aren't always happy to do with anyone. Ship here is no exception. My control. Oh, thank you. Ooh, I do like improved armories. Thus, from the Eugene Republic is making back and forth patrols of the area, weapons to charge from prior encounter, likely with comfort of military when it's probably a lock on it. Wait, does this thing have a pre igniter then? No. I guess his weapons weren't that charged. Oh, you're gonna board me. Oh, that's rich. Alright, come on. Ship to be empty, you step aboard, only to see that one of the leech crew is still alive. Or instead of fighting back, leech only curls up to a ball and bites hard into his own body, killing himself instantly. Nice. Well, means we don't have to give him room on our ship. 
Uh, so we're going to Tony's, which means we're saving our scrap. Unpredictable strategy employed by the incompetent and unusually only half willing modern Irgen military can make leech ships frightening adversaries. Let's hope you can make it out of this one without too many scratches. Well, we were fine last time. I'm pretty sure we'll do okay here. Especially if you're doing the exact same thing as last time. AKA being stupid. Not really getting the entire dodge thing, are you? Through the death, the corpse of a leech will drain itself slowly of all the built-up electricity to store over its life. With this many bodies, it could be catastrophic in close quarters. You make sure to hurry and scrap the ship before you get caught in a minefield of electrified bodies. What are we looking for in the store anyway? Hacking? Ooh. A modular laser. And what modules do you have? Power mod? Neural mod. Takes up like twelve seconds of stun. Eh. It's something. Let's get it. And we'll replace the laser changer with this thing because I'm not a takes way too long we're constantly waiting for this thing to be ready on our first volley and that's never a good thing i mean you're always going to be waiting for the same weapon but now let's get the normal mod to go with it yep cool um thanks tonies Probably should upgrade Clone Bay, huh? Futures now! Yeah. And the galaxy in the multiverse just tastes glory once again. Once again, they're doing the smart thing of boarding. That's a vamp weed. Let them keep that. Let the leeches do something. Oh, they got the missile back online. Huh. That's strange. They normally don't do that. Like, they powered this off so they can keep this on, and then they just swapped it? Range. I mean, it's the, it's the smart thing to do, but. Heard disturbing stories of the haunting postmodern smiles of Leech Crew. Now your expectation on your sounds probably take some amount of therapy to get over. As if the leeches are the worst thing you can find out here. Jesus. Oh, we got a store coming up, right? Uh, I guess we go around. Probably dive once or twice. So we're just broadcasting from the nebula. Okay. Uh, 
Mm, more armories are required now. Um, how much is it for the next weapon upgrade? A hundred. Probably gonna wait on that a bit then. Okay, let's get this because my crew is like constantly near death. Do not shoot this guy. Okay. Well, that's the second time somebody killed a teammate. I know where you're keeping the good stuff now. You showed it to me. And I'm coming to freaking get it. Find the gasping corpse of the slug captain quivering on the ground. You have one last mark, damn. Then collapses and dies. Wow, he straight up dies. Um. Yeah. I really could use some extra crew though. So if anybody's willing to get me a uh, guy that doesn't need to breathe, that would be grand. Did you know for the motivation on us? Nationalistic pride, chances are the ship isn't here to avenge the guard because of willing participation, but rather out of fear from retaliation from one of the coalition's enforcers. Great, it's one of these jokers. You know, why am I not surprised? <laughs> Honestly.
Oh, all of my stuff is on cool. I should have waited. I don't know. That's what you get. For not waiting. Though I guess it doesn't come as much of a surprise, right? Missile launcher is still active, because of course it is. It's always the most charged weapon that they keep online. Bull crap. If it pierces all shields, it's staying online. could split some of these guys because it doesn't look like crew is gonna come soon that I can get somebody on engines and on weapons and stuff uh, let's get something say had something I was gonna say, awkward, uh, I'm just gonna kill you, but it was going to sound way cool if I remembered my original speech. Wow, you had a speech prepared and everything for me? Oh, And now you're gonna die horribly. So this is basically a repeat fight, with the exception that now we... ...have waited. And look, what a surprise! The missile launcher stayed online. And uh, maybe not go bang on the shields. Take out the teleporter, that's way better. Walking on the corpses of these parasites is nothing short of eerie. Their wide gaping mouth seems they could reach out at any moment and strike you. Keep your hand near a blaster at all times as you scrap the ship. Yeah, I might split both of these guys. Get somebody on engines, get somebody on weapons. A uh, band of pesky teenage leech delinquents came by, drew all kinds of nasty things on our ship, stole our cargo, called me some horrid names. It sounded like they said boomer, whatever that means. Could you be a pal and go get it back? Right? Yeah. Well, fetch ship direction until you find a small leech shuttle with three or so leech inside. As soon as you approach, they start laughing at you and shouting various uncreative insults. You log the weapons onto one of the passing asteroids near the shuttle. The explosions seem to frighten the Alice and would rather seem to egg them on. Hey, old man, keep that up, and I'm gonna call my dad on you. Losing all self control and bracing your inner wild side. You spin the ship around in circles, blasting up countless asteroids of asteroid leeches are not longer quite so unfazed. Dude, I think this guy's a psychopath. What the hell even was that? Leech hand over the cargo, afraid you might snap at any moment and kill them too. Uh, yeah, we don't care about uh, we don't care about the cargo, but that foul as they drew on the ship, my goodness, we can't have that. It's a lot of asteroids, isn't it? Thought we destroyed them all. I'm not sure if you have to wait. Uh, we do have to wait. 
I thought because we were jumping in a non-hazardous sector this was fine, but it doesn't work like that. It's jumping from a non-hazardous sector um, beacon that uh, resets your cooldowns. What's going on over here? Um, yeah, we can help them. If it's a fleet advance, who cares? We're fleet diving anyway. Yeah. Takes quite some time to collect lost cargo. Unfortunately, it's so time consuming that the rebel fleet is able to gain on your position. Leeches all seem somewhat impatient. So I have to do that, it would have taken much longer without your help. We're ready. Please take this reward. Out of all the race in the galaxy, your people are the ones who deal the most with asteroid fields. So we know a thing or two about autopilots, we can even upgrade yours. Okay. If the FTL could charge a bit quicker, that would be grand. Alright. Rebel dive. Woo! And look, they even took care of the asteroid field over here. How kind. not taking away rebels so staying around here doesn't really do anything for us we could try to get the one fuel may as well try but I'm not gonna risk getting shot at with ASB for it you know because you know that stuff's gonna hit right wait for it wait for it Yep, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna split my big boys here. Hey! Their scanners are... Wait, where are their scanners? Mind control! Okay, just move, don't shoot each other. There you go. Uh, you're a brave one. This is just the kind of ship that I want to screw some chaos in before I decide to... ...go cause some trouble. How nice of them to go away when they're about to blow up. Okay, divide. Oh, he's actually good on piloting. How good are you on piloting? You are trash at piloting. <laughs> okay, come on back. Yeah, that's good. 
Can I divide the other guy? Probably not, right? Let's give you another name, though. Jim and Tim. Alright, I'll divide the other guys so they have somebody on weapons as well. Two ships in this beacon does bring on pirates. You notice something is right to an attack, and you then realize it does bring ship is empty, and the original crew is aboard the pirate ship. Good thing you didn't completely destroy the ship. Yeah, it is that. Uh, shield cheese is possible, I think. It's always weird with these smaller rooms. Okay, let them have that weapon. I guess. Okay, let's make the things as well. We've got plenty of missiles and the likes. Um, Trying to upgrade weapons, performance, weapons, performance. And this one stuns. Okay. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. See you guys all next episode. Bye everyone.